Thoughts on the fact that the hearing is being held here? I am very grateful that the hearing is being held specifically in East Palestine. I know it's pretty inconvenient for everybody to get to. It's not centrally located anywhere, but I think it just shows the commitment and the authenticity of the NTSB that they felt so compelled to host a special hearing in the first place and to specifically host it in East Palestine so residents could be in attendance. What are you hoping to hear Thursday, Friday? Oh, that's a good question. I'm really hoping to hear a lot, and I'm just really praying that there are very authentic answers mm -hmm. that are given from everybody who's testifying. I don't want to hear those canned responses where you can tell that like a legal team put them together and said, like, you cannot deviate from this plan. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the NTSB is going to be able to ask very tough questions, and I'm confident that they will be able to do that. They're a very thorough team, and uh, I've been very impressed with how they've handled their investigation. And so I'm hoping that they ask tough questions to everybody who has been asked to testify and that those who are there to testify actually spill the beans <laughs> and, and actually um, share the details that everybody wants to know. Yeah. Uh, what's the mood in the town, Misty, four and a half months after this? I would say the mood in the town greatly varies based on who you talk to. Mm. Uh, I would say that the the train derailment currently, you know, four or five months in, it's a very polarizing topic. So you have some people in town that are very much ready to move forward, um, very positive and gung-ho about East Palestine. Uh, being able to have the greatest comeback in history. And then you have some people that are still evacuated and who are having a lot of health issues and are just really scared for their lives and, uh, you know, don't understand how people could rebuild when, you know, that hurricane or like the eye of the storm is still over top of the town. So that question is going to be answered very differently based on who you talk to in town. What do you, and I would think you're probably among the former, you're gung-ho on the town, what do you see East Palestine looking like, uh, feeling like in, say, 10 years? That's a great question. So I would say that my response to everybody, I feel like both of those schools of thought can be true. I think that you can be very concerned about the current health care situation that's going on in town. I do strongly feel that there are some people that are very sick and that needs to be investigated to really get to that root cause of why is this happening and how are some people sick and then other people have no symptoms at all. You know, I'm a researcher by training and so like I'm naturally curious and want to know what is happening and why. Um, and then, you know, for the people that are relocated, that's so heartbreaking. And so I would hope that 10 years from now, and even, you know, not even just 10 years from now, but even in the short term, that there would be some some parameters or guidelines or assistance that could help with long-term health care monitoring and with home value protection or relocation for the people that want to be relocated. Mm -hmm. And then I just really hope that there is some commitment to economic development in town too because it has really devastated the town uh, you know, economically. It really put a scarlet letter on the town. I do think that we are rebuilding. And so I hope in 10 years from now that we're able to say, wow, this was really devastating, but it really brought the community together and that um, East Palestine was able to rebuild and that it's still a really great place to raise your family because we do want to stay here, but only if it's safe. So in 10 years from now, my son will be a senior in high school or just graduated, really, if we're talking in June in 10 years. And so I want to be able to say, yes, he graduated from East Palestine. Yes, we are all still healthy. It isn't a cancer cluster in East Palestine. Uh, and that there's some really great businesses in town and that we are thriving and not just surviving. I will look forward to having that positive conversation with you in a decade. Yes, right. I'll <laughs> hold you to that. Thanks yes. so much. Misty Allison, <laughs> Thank thanks so much.